Hi. So now we are trying to put our two trucks in the Ford Focus estate. <laughs> and we really hope to succeed. The first one is already inside. Uh, we just had to take over the headrest and to fold the front bar. The bike is new, the key is old, but they are working together really well. <laughs> Okay, so now the baby is going inside. Oh. Hopefully. Okay, after a bit of trouble, mission complete. This time it's just us. You may guess what is the main problem. The trikes take up all the space in our car. So, for this trip we had to leave the kids at their grandparents. In fact, if you have any better idea for transporting the trikes, please go ahead and share it with us in a comment. Because we need to find a solution. So, where are we going? Uh, we decided to spend a weekend in the Kuča and Beljanica National Park in eastern Serbia. And our first step is to reach Paracin where we will leave the car. And here we are, this is a garage we found. We unload the trucks and the bags and we are ready to go. Spooky. The first part of uh, today's route is flat, but with a relatively strong headwind. Hi, we just come to Chupria, that is the first city on our route, it's so damaged.
time to get something to eat. <laughs> what you gonna eat? I don't know for now. <laughs> <laughs> the meal is finally arrived. Now this is a cyclist meal. Huge. And this also a cyclist meal. After Despotovac, we followed the river Resava to the medieval Orthodox monastery Manasia, dating back to the 15th century. It is one of the most significant monuments of the Serbian culture from that time and is especially famous as a center for copying and translating manuscripts within the so-called Resava school. You might wonder what is the violet strap that you see? That is our new uphill system. For years we have had this problem that Andre is a much better climber than I am. Not that I can't climb a mountain, but he's much faster than me. So we decided to attach our trikes with an elastic strap and share the load. That's just a regular strap that we normally use to secure our things, uh, our tent, for example. And how does it work? So far, so good. Voila. It's the end of our troubles and then we reach here. We are now at Eco Farm Milanovic, where we slept. It is a classical breakfast with black coffee. And the gipanica. Mm. Yeah, it's like a cheese pie. Very traditional. Bon up. <laughs> bon up. So we are here in Eco Farm Milanovic. That's where we slept. And uh, our initial plan was to go to this uh, waterfall called Valley Kibuk or the Grand Book. And then to continue this way to Zlat. But as we found out from our host, this way, this road is a completely off road track, which is not suitable for any kind of car or bike, maybe for some mountain bikes. And it's very hard to go anyway. So we cannot go that way. We have to go all the way here and make a much bigger, bigger, bigger turn.
Dagodan. Here we are going along this very narrow path. There are these things to fall to, but not very firm. Not very cool in this cycling shoes. We are climbing again and actually I believe we are going to that peak over there which is called Crnivrh, uh, meaning the black peak. I don't know why they call it black, but I guess it looks like that. There are a lot of stray dogs like this one, but luckily so far we had no troubles with them. And Andre is helping me again with this strap uh, pulling me a little bit and I guess it's just like the electrical assistance you have to push but it adds like 10 or 20 percent to your speed 50? 50 percent huh? okay <laughs> and uh, the reason is that it's getting late and we still have to climb and my speed is too low we're almost there the sun is getting down and uh, it's also getting kind of cold so we had to put uh, our uh, warmer clothes but hopefully we'll be there in a moment there is the antenna and we believe that it is on the black peak we will not climb exactly there but just pass pass by and I think we're reaching the end of our troubles for today. Okay, maybe we are actually going just next to this antenna and uh, next to the Black Peak. My favorite place to wake up is next to the water, so that when I open my tent, I have a you view. Your husband. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. This is Borsko Yezero, the lake of Bor. We arrived here late last night. It was not fun. We had like 15 kilometers of downhill and uh, it was getting dark when we reached the peak. So downhill was not fun in the dark. And uh, the road was uh, bad on some points. But we arrived here safely and uh, put up the tent. It was also very cold. <laughs> To wake up in the morning, there's nothing better than a little climb. So, we didn't have breakfast, we didn't have coffee, and we're going 
I'm in a small hill and going toward the Lazar Lazar's Canyon. We got some pie from a nice guy next to the road uh, in Serbian traditional culture. The travelers are very special and uh, on some holidays it's usual to leave some part of food for the traveler on the road and it seems that maybe in this in these parts of Serbia they still honor this tradition and have some food to offer to the travelers. I believe that on the left hand side we can see the peak of the mountain Hertan and uh, they call it the Serbian pyramid because the, the peak has the shape of a pyramid and it's actually very rare to be able to see it because uh, there, it's often in the clouds or in the fog and uh, we were here a few times before and we never saw it so clearly as now but I'm still not sure if that's it the Lazar's Canyon where we're going now. Over done. Да, сега на снимане. Lazar's cave is the longest explored cave in Serbia with more than 9.4 kilometers in length. It is situated near the entrance to the Lazar's Canyon. It is very beautiful and also very mysterious. There are numerous legends about this place and how the Serbian people were hiding themselves as well as their treasure within the cave and the canyon through history. The canyon still hasn't been fully explored to this day. We are climbing this little path to get to... Without tracks? Without tracks to uh, 
to get to a viewpoint where we can see the canyon really well. But even from here, it's already very, very beautiful. As our guide from first day said, it's every meter worth. Mm -hmm. and the blue water comes from the cave. In the bottom of the cave there is a lake and that water joins here. It is very blue and very, very clear. Turns out that the mountain we saw earlier was not at all the Serbian pyramid. But now, as I climbed another hill, I can see the true Serbian pyramid, Rtanj, on the left. As you see, it's again kind of foggy or just, I don't know, cloudy, polluted. I don't know, and uh, we cannot see the peak really well. And I'm going there. So here I am, arrived at the restaurant where we agreed to meet. It is an Atno hotel and restaurant with some, with some uh, very traditional and very good meals. It's famous, it's very famous. While I'm waiting for Andre to arrive, you can use the opportunity to subscribe to our channel or leave us a comment. See you soon!